Garcia started his World Grand Prix career on 125cc two-strokes. He was the first Moto2 champion and even beat Valentino Rossi in MotoGP. But after a couple of rough years, he found himself at home with no ride. That was until he got a call from Yoshimir Suzuki about three years ago and is now a force to be reckoned with in the Moto America paddock. It, I had so much fun, so much fun compared before because I was in MotoGP and MotoGP for a rider is, is the goal, no? Race there, where the best, where the best teams, the best bikes are. It's uh, the, the goal of every single rider. But when you are there and you are trying, you won one race, you, you do podiums every season, and you finally don't, don't get that opportunity to race in an official team. Uh, it's really tough. It's uh, so much work for, uh, for nothing, no? And of course the podiums and the victory was, was a, a great memory, but was not enough. You want to uh, you wanna fight for, for the title and work for the title if you don't have uh, the team and the bike and the uh, people behind, the factory behind is so difficult. So um, it's fun, but in the other way, it's frustrating. And I passed some difficult years, but when Yoshimura gave me the opportunity to, to join this team, everything changed. The official team, official bike, amazing people behind, factory behind. Uh, I had everything. I enjoy it a lot. This year, of course, you cannot win every season, but last year we won the title, this year we did second, but we won a lot of races too. And even if you don't win the championship, uh, it's fun. It's not frustrating like before, so I can say, I'm lucky to say the last three years since I arrived in America, I really enjoy, I had a really happy times. I hope to continue for much more years. Yes, absolutely. I feel, I feel happy. I feel uh, love from them. Uh, it's really, it's really nice atmosphere. And yeah, the 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 thing is, uh, when some race, it's it's difficult, or some race it's not difficult. It's some critical race, like with Road America this year with Cameron. Uh, when you start to fight with American riders uh, and you have some problem with them, maybe it's not your fault, but always American fans go to American riders, no? And you have to be very careful because maybe you have the reason, but uh, local heroes are local heroes, no? But beside that, uh, always I felt uh, love from them and I'm so happy. Everybody is so respectful. Everybody uh, come to come to me and say, "Hey, you thank you to come in America. You raise the level of the championship. Uh, we are glad to have you here to create show to make the American riders and the series a little bit better." And when you say that, when you listen that words, I, uh, I'm, I'm proud. No, I'm happy. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Always I say, if, if one day I could beat Valentino, I, I did it in 2006, means the, the level of riding style is, is high. If I arrive here and we put that level and riders like my teammate Roger Hayden, Cameron Bouvier, Josh Hayes, Josh Herring, uh, Matthew Scholes, uh, and I don't want to forget anyone, but Fast riders able to to beat me. It means the level of this championship is so strong. Um, the show is amazing. If you check the races, races are good, are fun. Are, especially this year, we had a lot of fights. Were, were uh, not easy race for anyone. For Cam, he won the championship, but some races he suffered, like me, like Herring. Everybody had to push hard and work hard to 
to win some races here. And what else? Uh, Moto America, Moto America staff, Wayne, Chuck. Um, I don't want to miss anyone. Terry, um, Richard, they are doing an amazing job because this championship without them was impossible. Um, they are very slowly, but with the hard work. It's a it's very difficult race. Um, make the championship grow when when you take it from the bottom, no? So they are doing a great job in a good direction. Every year is growing up. We will have 10 more years, so that's a very very great news. And it's amazing what what are they doing? Without them, this was impossible. No, for sure we will. Uh, we are happy with each other. We it just need to be signed. The, it's done for, with wars, with uh, and should be okay. No problem. Always the top. The top guy is Cameron. He is the um, official guy with experience with. Great team behind. Every year is more strong, more uh, mature, more uh, experimented. And for us, me too. Uh, I have an amazing team. Yoshimura behind and Suzuki is so strong. I believe in them. We are a family. We we'll learn a lot from the mistakes this year. We are not gonna. We will be faster when we will receive some surprise like new generation of tires or something like that. So we'll earn and we will take, we will take, uh, we will put it on the table next year. So let's see what happens. Um, I don't know who will be my teammate for sure. We'll be strong guy or the beast or heading. If it's the beast, we'll be strong. If it's heading, we'll be super strong. But if he's not heading, heading will have the, that Yamaha, build it from attack, so they will be strong. Many riders will be, will be strong. I just hope um, some new brands join to the party, like Honda, Kawasaki, Ducati. That will be perfect for the series. Let, we'll see it. It's, uh, let's see it if it's possible. I don't have only one goal, like uh, since I arrived in this championship and is win the championship. But there's many factors, many factors uh, to do it, and sometimes these factors are not in in your totally control. You cannot control the others. You cannot control the crashes, injuries. Uh, that can decide many things. Um, but from our side, we will try to work well to control the situation and we will try to make that happen again. I don't know about you, but I'm excited to see Tony competing in Moto America next year. Maybe his success will convince other OEMs like Kawasaki, Honda, Ducati, and Aprilia to put forth a factory effort in the US. Either way, the racing should be very exciting next year, and I'm sure Tony will be challenging for another championship in 2019. Don't forget to comment and like this video, and if you want to stay up to date with all of our great videos and stories, Hit the subscribe button and follow us on social media at Cycle Sports TV.